Hey guys, KJ Rias here. Welcome back to another lesson. This one is another request for you guys. Now, this one comes in from a buddy of mine, Jim O'Keefe, a longtime member of the site over at KJRias.com. Big thanks to him for all the support and all the love. Uh, I wanted to do this one special for you, Jim. So, uh, the Travis Barker fill in Reckless Abandon. Now, Jim, you're taking me back to my youth here. Uh, I remember hearing this fill in this song, and like this is one of the fills that really got me into Travis Barker's playing at the time, and it really opened my eyes to uh, a lot of different ways that I could be playing myself. It really kind of expanded my own creativity a lot. So I had to figure it out. As soon as I, as soon as I heard this fill, I was like, whoa, what is, what is he doing there? Uh, this was uh, years ago, but then... When I finally figured it out, this is one of the things that got me really into using my bass drum in fills. So it's a little bit tricky to figure out if you're not thinking bass drum. Okay, because I wasn't even thinking bass drum at the time. Anyway, anyway, getting off track here. So, the fill itself, let's get right into it. It comes in at 47 seconds in uh, Reckless Abandon, super awesome fill. This is it at full speed. Okay? And remember, it's just that bass drum that makes it sound so kind of otherworldly, like what's going on there? Alright? So, breaking down the sticking real slow. See it there? That's the first hurta. And he does it twice, so he just kind of repeats that. To explain the Hertha simply, uh, it's just two faster strokes followed by two slower strokes. Okay? So if you're playing, say, two sixteenth notes, then you move down to two eighth notes, or two thirty second notes down to two sixteenth notes, okay? So right now, we're gonna take this fill at 80 beats per minute, okay, guys? And you can download this next section that we're going into by clicking the link below in the description box. You'll be taken over to kjrias.com where you'll see a download play along link. Take it to the studio, make this one your own, maybe try changing a few strokes, but you'll have the play along. Click included. So definitely take this one to the practice pad wherever you need to, guys. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so with no further ado, let's get into it. 80 beats per minute. Here we go. Pretty easy, right? It's just the orchestration of it that can uh, trick us out if we're not familiar with that bass drum stuff. For lots more ideas with how to use your bass drum and fills, check out the kick fill system at kjrice.com. I say it every time, but check it out, guys. It's there to help you. There to, there to help you get more fills like this. Open up your mind, expand your creativity. Everybody needs a coach every now and then. So, back to full speed.
That was one of my favorite fills when I was uh, still figuring out a lot of this drum stuff. Uh, so, Jim, again, thanks for the request. I hope this helps out, and uh, thanks again for all the support. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, guys. I will see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, keep playing.